G'day guys, I'm out on a wild dog job. There won't be too much fanfare on this one. Let's go and see if I can find them. I've just put the Fox Pro X1 up on this fence post. I'm gonna go and have a little bit of a feed. And then we'll run some calls, see what happens. Dinner out in the paddock tonight on the back of the e-bike. We've got dessert of champions because we go straight to dessert. No, we'll save that for later. Can of cordial. I'm trying these on track meals tonight. It's the coconut ginger chicken. It's meant to be quite nice with the flameless heater pack. So we'll see what that's like. It's probably better for me than KFC, that's for sure. Blah, 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 uh, 60 ml of water. That'll activate some heater element. Some kind of dark magic, we'll just assume that it's Harry Potter related. You definitely know when you've got that heater element working, when you put the water on it, it goes off with a fizz. You of steam out the top, make no mistake of that. While I could do the classic Q music, epic B-roll footage, it's not really my style, but what I can do is show you that the packet's empty and say that, that was bloody beautiful. Really nice flavour, a little bit of spice, I'll definitely get that again. I've been called out to this property because they've been seeing a few dogs and I've got them howling down in this gully two or three hundred metres underneath me. I haven't seen anything yet but I'm going to keep howling back. Hopefully they come out. That's a turn of events. If this won't put hair on your nuts I don't know what will. Check this out. You never entirely know what you're going to get out on these dog jobs, but I must say, very happy with that. This animal on the right here, it's a really big dog. It probably weighs 30 kilos. It was a bit of a grunt to get it up there, to be honest. It's got a big, typical dingo tail on it, that sort of short bushiness, but all this side's really patchy, brown and white all over it, and it's a young dog. It's a really solid young dog, so great outcome. The other animal, that's a pregnant female, so I've just had a look. It's got six pups inside of it, so really good outcome for this property owner. I've dragged them up this hill a little bit to get them in this location because down in that bush down there, there's still a dog letting out a few little calls because there were three animals. So, uh, yeah, I don't like being backed up against a fence while those animals are in there. I do like to be able to see around a little bit. Hopefully one doesn't jump over my shoulder while I'm talking to the camera. Uh, yeah, really happy with that. I wish you guys could smell this little bit of video because this guy here, man, these things stink. I know I've said this before on video. People say that purebred dingoes don't stink. And, well, these ones absolutely stink. So they mustn't be purebred dingoes. Uh, they are all hybrids out in here, if I am serious. Uh, there's been DNA testing done in the area. And, yes, they have dingo DNA, but they also have a whole heap of other stuff in them. So... Uh, great outcome for the property owner. We'll keep scooting around a little bit on the e-bike. We might pick up another animal, find a couple of foxes. The night is not over yet though. I've just crested this little rise and I've got a fox on the other side about 175 metres away. Let's have that in from here, I think.
If you do find yourself enjoying this video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with a mate. It's such a little thing to do, but it really helps me with the algorithm. I do love these e-bikes for the stealth that I can ride around on them, but if I am critical, I wish they had a damn handbrake. They don't. It's literally only the kickstand or you lay the bike on its side, which I can't do while I've got the tripod in the front racks, to stop it rolling down a slope. I do use these in hilly terrain most of the time. Just gets a little bit annoying. Anyway, there's my winch for the night. That'll do it every single time. I'm pretty sure this is an echidna up here. I've had a fox come in now. He's showing a little bit of interest in that echidna. I don't think the fox is going to be able to hurt him because on an echidna, they're covered in those sharp, pointy spines on the outside. But the underside of them, that's soft. So the fox would need to roll him over onto his back and they're pretty good at avoiding that. But I don't really need an excuse to shoot foxes. Let's give the echidna a hand. No, the echidna's fine, but the fox, he's not doing so well anymore. I want to give a big shout out to Ben from Hunt the Night. He's the video supporter for this content. If you are in the market for anything thermal, anything else we're using coming out the end of the barrel, who knows? Go and have a look at his website. He offers great advice on thermal equipment and all these other tools. If you're in the market, check it out. There's a fox all the way over there, 400 metres direction I'm generally headed. See if I can catch up with it. Gotta love a farmyard fox, I'm all up back at the car, happy days. That's been a fantastic night. It's been very wet and slippery riding around on the e-bike, but one very happy property owner. It's not often you come out and get two dogs in one spot like that, so I'll take it while I can. Also a few foxes, especially that one just near the farmhouse that would have been predating on his chickens, so they like to see those ones gone too. That's been a great night. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon on. I'd appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon. And I'll see everyone next time.